Hello, I'm back on your TV screen to share inspiring stories of changed lives. My name is Modupe Adjusheso. Welcome to You Were There. Now, there are many people around us in hopeless situations who can't dare to hope for a fresh start. It seems impossible to even imagine. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how CBN partners are making the impossible possible. But first, let's take a trip behind the scenes to experience one man's journey through partnership. Watch this. Hi, my name is Emmanuel. I consider myself a handy person. I like to fix stuff. You know, I noticed it growing up, I would fix our toys that were broken. Now I'll fix stuff around my house. It's my favorite pastime. You know, I spend my weekends, my free time doing that. I'll take an interest when someone's repairing my car. I'll try and pick up a few things. I enjoy servicing my generator on my own. One day I stumbled on the CBN Empowerment Program that helps to teach orphans who who couldn't feed or widows who couldn't pay their kids school fees and because of some of the skills that they learned like tailoring or, or bead making they've been able to meet those financial needs and that put a huge smile on my face as much as i love to do these things there's someone out there who has this passion who probably doesn't know how to go about learning this skill and so that pushed me to become a 700 club partner and i'm here to encourage you today you can join us someone is out there who loves to cook and doesn't know how to bake you you can meet that need. Someone is out there who's looking for a skill to empower themselves or to meet a financial need. You can help them do that by becoming a 700 Club Partner today. So join us, become a 700 Club Partner today and put a smile on someone's face. There's an indescribable joy when you give to others and you watch their lives change. Knowing that with your little, you can create a miracle just like you did in Jahi. You gave a whole community a fresh start. The full story is up next, so stay tuned. For years, CBN has changed thousands of lives and shaped whole communities with their empowerment projects. From soap making to bag making, men and women have gained the skills to earn a living and contribute in the growth of their communities. This is often done in collaboration with some organizations. And this time, CBN is partnering with Covenant Baptist Church Jahi 2 to empower the residents of Jahi Abuja in bag making. People are coming, asking how much, when we tell them the amount, it's difficult for them to raise the money. But with the help of 700 Club, I believe that after training, after the training, it will put a foot in their table. As long as we'll be able to lift the standard of living of women who are not doing anything, young girls who are not doing anything in that community, uh, Operation Blessing is more than willing to be part of such a great vision. Months after, the empowerment project is a living reality. The facilitators share their excitement and the students share their expectations towards the training. For a while now, I have not been doing anything. So, after I heard about this program, I decided to come. And I will let God give me wisdom and understanding to learn. Making bags for me will be a dream come true. And my expectations are to be able to learn and also impact others. Over a period of 12 weeks, 61 trainees have successfully acquired the skill of bag making. Reverend John Kalma, head of Operation Blessing, CBN Africa, gives a talk and wishes the graduates a prosperous future. And for the organizers, it's been quite a satisfying experience. Their countenance was different from the first day I met them. They had this air of, I can do it. The different fabrics they were able to turn and make into bags, it was lovely. It was really, really amazing. And for the beneficiaries, it was a start to a more fruitful experience. I am very happy with the training. Now that I have learned the bag making with the profession I already have, I have added more value to myself. That's the most exciting thing for me in this training. And I want to say a very big thank you to Operation Blessing. I can't explain how happy I am to Operation Blessing. We are saying thank you for helping us and bringing this bag training to us. If we'd only dare to be there for those in need, we can truly change the world. 
one act of kindness can create a brand new future. Thank you, CBN Partners, for choosing to make a difference. We'll go on a short break now, and when we return, more stories coming your way. Stay with us. Life is a gift, and it offers us the privilege, opportunity, and responsibility to give something back as we become more. Many women, children and families are suffering and in need, wondering where the next meal will come from. Lend a helping hand today. Be the strength when others are weak. Be the smile where others frown. Be the joy when there is so much pain. Be more. Join the 700 Club. Lend a helping hand to someone today. Great to have you back. It's one thing to give someone a gift. It's another to empower them with a skill. That's a gift that keeps giving. They can earn an income and empower others to do the same. It's a gift that can raise a community or change an entire society. That's what you make happen as a CBN partner. And it's what you did at Kujama. That story is up next. Don't go anywhere. The death of a spouse is one nightmare that no one ever wants to experience. The pain, agony, and the aftermath of it leaves one shaken, changing every aspect of that person's life. The responsibilities meant for two people to share are now saddled on one person. The strain and frustration often lead to depression and health complications. After my husband died, feeding was a big challenge. We used any leaf to make soup just to get by. It's a bitter experience that a young girl like me is found in a situation like this. We were even ejected from the house where we lived. Founded and funded by Mrs. Saidi Muhammad for decades, Salama Health Ministries and Gospel Crusade Outreach started out as a small dispensary to cater to the health needs of the people in and beyond Kujama in Chukun local government area of Kaduna State, Nigeria. They now have an association that also caters for the spiritual, financial and material needs of widows. The assistant now who rich in Latvia Whenever I am sick, I get free treatment from Salama Health Center. Sometimes, I also get assistance for my children's school fees. The first day in Arizona. The first day I attended Salama Health Ministries, I was given salt, maggi, and other cooking ingredients. With every passing day, more widows identified with Salama Ministries. As a result, there were more needs to be met but the resources were limited. It was in this state that Mrs. Saidi knew she had to do something to better cater to the needs of the widows. One day, Mrs. Saidi watched one of CBN's programs and she had a desire. I said, wow, these are the kind of things we are doing in Kujama. I said, no, 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 this program, the CBN must come to Kujama. The Christian Broadcasting Network collaborated with Salama Health Ministries on a free basic health care outreach. Soon after, an empowerment program for widows was in the offing. Three hours on the road from Abuja and the CBN humanitarian team was in Kujama. In spite of the rain, the widows came out in their numbers to partake of the skill acquisition and empowerment program. The women now have the opportunity to acquire skills such as baking, knitting, soap making and tailoring. And in a few months, they will be on their way to earning extra income for their families. After 
after I complete my six months training in this center, I hope to make a living out of it. I will start up my own business, train other women who are interested in learning a trade, and also use the money to sponsor my children's education. This training is a sign that poverty is over in my life. I will also be a source of help to my family members. After six months of training, it's time for the first batch of widows to graduate. I just want to say a big thank you to CBN. I pray that God will bless and increase you more. Thank you. All I have to say is thank you, CBN, and may you live long. Ever heard the saying, tough times don't last, but tough people do? It couldn't be more true than it was for the widows in Kujama. They held on, but you brought the light. Thank you, CBN partners. Now, if you're watching and you're going through a tough time, don't give up. Stay strong. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. Rita had to find out for herself just how true that is. You don't want to miss this story, so stay tuned. For Rita David and her family, life as they knew it had become a distant memory. Since our father died, things have not been easy. We no longer eat like we used to. Now it's always from one problem to the next. He used to be my confidant. Anytime I had an issue, he was always there. We would sit, talk, and he would meet my needs. He also advised me on the right way to go. But now he's not here. I feel empty. Soon, the weight of sustaining the family became too heavy for their mother to bear. My siblings and I were having a hard time. While he was alive, if there was any need, he would make sure to attend to it. But now, if we're asked to get something from school, it would be very difficult because the responsibilities on only my mom was too much. Whenever I looked at my mom, I became sad and felt pity for her. My father is no more there to be with her. She would sit quietly and be lost in thoughts. And sometimes you'll find her crying because things were not easy. I was disturbed and became closer to her. We would pray and encourage each other to depend on God. A turning point was around the corner when Rita encountered Salama Health, an organization that caters to the needs of widows. I came to Salama Health because I wanted to grow in my daily work with God also because of the encouragement they gave us. Salama Health, in collaboration with the Christian Broadcasting Network Africa, organized an empowerment program where Rita learned tailoring and bag making. One program, the Akai. I really enjoyed this training. I have learned to sew clothes, purses, and bags. Anywhere I go, people keep asking me where I get my clothes from. I marvel when I tell them I sew it myself. I have many customers now. With this, I have been able to relieve my mother of some responsibilities. Now Rita has gone from being a helpless victim to a certified tailor and bag designer. I say thank you CBN and Salama Health for this assistance they have given us. We are grateful. Now Rita can help with the needs around the house and support her mother. Thank you for giving that family and so many others a new beginning. May God bless and reward your sacrifice. Imagine the number of lives you could touch, families at the edge of giving up, or that one person who might be thinking of ending it all. You can step in and change their stories. Just partner with us. Give water to thirsty communities. Send doctors and medicines to whole communities. Give orphans a new home. Please say yes by committing to give at least 2,500 Naira monthly, or you can give as high as 84,000 Naira monthly. 
Join us. Let's shine the light of hope around the world. If you're ready to get started, call us with the number on the screen or you can sign up on our website. As you help others, may you always have the help you need right in the nick of time. Now, You Were There continues after this short break. From tough terrains to deep waters, bringing hope and laughter to homes and communities. Thank you, CBN Partners, for helping Martha, who is almost going blind as a result of cooking over smoky fires. She had no hope for a better life until CBN gave her a pair of glasses and a brand new business. Now she can look forward to a bright future. The people of Buckingham Village are also grateful to CBN for digging a brand new water well right at the center of their village. Now, the days of lack are over. Thank you, CBN partners, for putting smiles in people's faces. Great to have you back. Are you going through tough times? Do you think all hope is lost? Do you feel alone, forgotten, or abandoned? Well, here's a word of encouragement from everyday people like you. In every situation, there is God. There is a helper somewhere that God has placed. Whatever you are doing that is giving you joy, keep pushing. Don't give up in life. Just have faith in God and then trust in God that he's going to always help you. After every hardship comes ease. Just believe that tough time doesn't last. One day, help will come from somewhere. To that one person who is at the verge of giving up, I just want to say you should keep pushing. You need to know God. Whatever you are doing, just be consistent. Over time, it's going to yield. Don't forget that your helper is always out there. He's searching for you. So please, don't give up in life. Thank you for every encouraging word. I'm sure it gives someone the strength to believe and keep moving. And if you'd like to talk to someone, just call the number on the screen. We're here all day, every day. CBN partners travel far and wide to get help to individuals and whole communities. This next story is from China. Take a look. When Jiale's father died and her mother abandoned her, Grandma Su set out to provide Jiale with the best life she could. I wanted Jiali to go to school. I didn't want her to suffer like me. For years, she sold potatoes at a tourist attraction on the top of a mountain. Sometimes Jiali went too. It took almost an hour to get there, and Grandma got weaker every day. The long walk hurt her back and her legs. It was a good day if they made four dollars. Many times, I did not sell even one potato, and I'd wake up in the middle of the night, worrying that the next day would be the same. At this rate, Jiali couldn't stay in school or eat a balanced diet. I felt guilty she got dizzy a lot. I didn't have money to bring her to the doctor or get her medicine. It was so stressful that I wanted to commit suicide. But I knew if I did, my granddaughter would suffer even more. Meanwhile, Jiali worried about her grandmother especially after they got caught in a bad rainstorm on the way to work. We were shivering like two drenched sheep. We sold potatoes anyway, but Grandma got really sick. She was in bed and couldn't walk. They didn't have enough firewood to keep the house warm and couldn't afford coal, so Grandma Sue got worse. I was afraid she would die. What would I do without her? Grandma Sue is a Christian, so she asked God to heal her and improve her life. Soon she recovered and met a representative from CBN. We paid for some of Jiali's school fees and provided her with nutritious food. We stocked their home with coal so they'd be warm in the winter. And we helped Grandma Sue start a livestock business. CBN bought cows for us so we can breed them and sell them for money. Now my grandma won't have to carry heavy things on her back. Jali will be able to finish school. I moved that God would love me so much that he would bring you nice people from so far away to help me. 
Words cannot express my happiness. Jiali will be able to finish school. I'm moved that God could love me so much, that he could bring nice people from so far away to help me. Words cannot express my happiness. God needed someone to read Jiali's family, and you showed up. Thank you for changing lives around the world. God bless you. After the break, it will be time to read some of your comments. Stick with us. Your passion amazes us. Your dreams marvel us. Your talent and creativity told through inspiring media motivates us. Three, two, open. Your dedication towards reimagining how we spread love and hope pushes us to newer horizons. If you are a content creator and you're interested in a platform that helps you tell inspirational stories, then talk to us. Visit www.flametv.tv slash content creators to learn how to share your inspiring stories with the world. CBN Partners for making a difference around the world. Your gift of love has changed life and eternity for millions. When hurting hearts reach out and cry, does anybody care? You were the one who brought the gift. Thank God that you were there. It's all it's exciting to hear from you. Thank you for engaging on our social media platforms. If you aren't already, please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Let's keep the conversation going. We've come to the end of today's episode. I hope this has been an amazing 30 minutes for you, as it has for me. So let's do this again, same time next week. But better than that, let's change lives together as we take healing and hope around the world. See you soon.